Once again, it is time to travel down the road to Chattanooga and the Tennessee Aquarium. And this morning, we want to welcome Amanda Reeves and her friend Bubba, the Bard Owl, to Daytime Tri Cities. Good morning, Amanda and Bubba. Good morning. And Bubba gave me a little wave there. <laughs> Tell me about Bubba. So, Bubba is a barred owl, and this is a species of owl that you could actually find in your backyard here in Tennessee. They are found around most of the United States. They are moving out west a little bit, but they definitely enjoy being in some nice wooded areas. But they're one of the more talkative owls, so there's a good chance that you're actually going to hear these guys before you'll see them. So, if you ever hear the saying where it sounds like they're saying, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? There's a good chance it's going to be a barred owl. I love that description of their call. I mean, that sounds exactly the barred owls I've heard before out, you know, just out and about. That's exactly how they sound. Yeah. Talk, so to, these, me, talk, oh, to, me about Bubba, talk to me about Bubba's time there at the aquarium. Where can folks catch him at, at inside the aquarium? So Bubba actually lives behind the scenes, so if you're just wandering through the aquarium, you may not see him, but again, you could hear him because he actually lives in this delta area, so there's a good chance you would hear him, but you'll only get to see him if we're doing a program. Uh -huh. So we bring Bubba out a few times a week just doing a pop-up program, and that can really be anywhere in the aquarium. We like to move around, take him to different areas for enrichment. So. You never know when you're going to see or hear him at the aquarium. And talk to me about owls in general. I mean, a lot of people, I think there's a lot of myths. There's a lot of uh, things surrounding owls. What's the one thing that you like to tell people about owls? Well, owls aren't actually that smart. So <laughs> owls, if you notice on Bubba, he has those huge eyes. So those eyes take up so much room inside their head that there's actually not that much room for a brain. So owls know how to hunt, how to eat, how to reproduce, but otherwise they're not going to figure out too many complex puzzles. And I noticed that he, I see the fish and the turtles and things swimming around there. He's been very interested in watching them. Yes, Bubba is always looking around. They can actually see stuff faster than we can. So what we might think is moving kind of slower for these guys, it's going to be coming in fast motion at them. So he's definitely just trying to keep an eye to make sure none of those fish are going to leap out and come get him. And Amanda, if you could tell us right now, what are you doing right now as far as uh, Bubba is concerned during this time when there's no visitors there? So right now, with no visitors here, I am taking Bubba and kind of setting him up for the day to spend it in different areas. So yesterday, he spent his time in the lobby where guests are usually coming through the doors. I had him sitting there. Uh, he'll also go spend time in front of some other exhibits. So there's a day we took and had him in front of the otters or the penguins just for them to kind of see him and for him to see them. And how did the penguins and the otters react with, with, with Bubba around? They were both really excited. Oh, Bubba here was definitely a little bit nervous when we were in front of the otter exhibit because they were so excited moving around really fast. But when it came to the penguins, they were equally interested in each other. Bubba was definitely watching their every move, and they were all trying to swim, and they started porpoising really fast because they were excited that Bubba was on the other side of the glass. All right. The animals still very active, still being taken care of and looked after there. Amanda, thank you so much for sharing some time with Bubba with us today. Thank you so much. All right, it is Amanda and Bubba there at the Tennessee Aquarium. Folks, they have some great stuff online, and when they open back up, it's going to be time to get down there to Chattanooga and check out Bubba.